In this video, I will teach you how to use Codebook and Look4. Codebook and Look4 are very useful data uh, command when you are working with large data set, such as General Social Survey or any other national survey data set. Those data set has a lot, a lot of information that will be very useful for your research, but on the other side of the coin, there are too many variables that you possibly will be lost if you don't know how to look for the variable that you're looking for. Let's open the GSS. You can view the variables from the variables manager. This is the name of the variable, and this is the description of the variable. So when you look at the name, some of them are very intuitive, such as year. You probably would figure out what this variable is about for a second. But what about OCC? Do you have any idea what that means without looking at the description of the variable? Possibly you won't unless you are really an expert in this area. The problem is that there are 5,600 of them in the GSS and you may be looking for just one or two of them. So how would you do that? In general, we will use a command look for. Say we are looking look for gender. We want to learn the gender of the respondent. You scan through the variable and uh, this is not actually really the variable that we are looking for. So the problem is that we are looking for the wrong words. I just by chance I know, uh, not okay, not by chance. I work with GSS for a while. The variable is actually called sex. So you will have sex here. It's called respondent sex. You can also see that state also re re return any variable that has sex in its label. Some of them actually not really relevant, but anyway, let's just use after you search for s you know that sex is the variable that you're looking for. You can use command called codebook to learn more about that. So the codebook tells you this is the variable, the label of the variable. This is the type of the variable. It's numeric. But actually, sex should only have two values, either male or female. Thus, one and two here does not have any real meaning per se. They're just a placeholder for male and female. We call those variables categorical variable. In comparison, let's look for age, which is also a numerical variable, but its number has real meaning. Say, you are 18, you are 19, and you, the difference between 18 and 19 is exactly one year, and a, a guy with 12 years is twice as older as a guy with, say, 6 years. So those variables where the number actually carries meaning, we call them nominal variable. That's it for the look for and code book.